love to swim in the creek. Right here, look. Look at the water. Some nice oil on the water and other stuff. Look, a fish just jumped over there. Anyway, I swam over there earlier. I don't know if you see or not. Let me try and zoom in. Wait. Right over there. You see, believe it or not, this creek has a current. You can see it right in the middle. So when you get right out to the middle, the current starts to pull you that way. So you got to swim against the current. And anybody that swims knows when you swim against the current, it makes you tired. Very easy. So, uh, yeah. Whenever you're in a creek, make sure you swim a little bit against the current so you don't drift. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice down here, ain't it? I used to come down here all the time as a kid. Look, here's the bike. <laughs> I used to come down here all the time when I was a kid. Remember when they cut that tree right there and there used to be a platform up there. Now they're, oh yeah, over there they, they put steps there. See, that's new, they didn't have steps over there before. That's cool. And they got the little rope hanging. I like it down here. You know, you find places like this in the city it's destroyed within a week. You know, around here, this place has been here for years. I remember over there, there used to be a platform on the tree on the bottom there. There used to be a platform there. Like 30, 40 people could sit on that tree. I remember we used to come down here with beer. There used to be a log here. I used to come down here on my stereo and my pockets would be filled with tapes. <laughs> You know, you can't swim across the creek with the stereo, so you had to leave it over here and crank it up as loud as it goes. And then once the tape would end, one of us would swim over and, you know, flip the tape around. That was before MP3 players and all the stuff that they have now. I didn't even know what an MP3 player was at the time. <laughs> uh, it's good to look back at. It's good to have good memories to look back at. You know, everything now is different. Memories, it's all in your head. You know, it's important you do what you want. You know, you just enjoy yourself. Do whatever it takes, whatever you want to do. Don't just sit around. You know, I have the chance, you know, I have a choice. I sit here or sit somewhere else, whatever, but you sit in one spot, like inside of a house or something all day, you start getting depressed. And, you know, I, 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 I have problems with that. When I get depressed, I tend to get myself in trouble. When I get depressed, I start getting angry. And you can't let yourself get in that cycle, because once you get in that cycle, then, yeah, once you get in that cycle, then it's going to lead to other things. When you just get out, you have fun. Try and talk to people if you can. You know, you don't always have to talk to people. Most of the time, I don't want to be around nobody. Like right now, I really don't want to talk to nobody. I'd rather talk to you. But, uh, yeah, like down here, people who usually come down here are cool. But like, you know, you're up on the street at the stores and all that, around the cars and society. I don't like that. It drives me crazy, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, back here, see, this is like the sacred land. You know, it's like the woods. They get, the trees have energy, you know. The trees give off a peaceful energy that your body receives. And at the same time, they give you the air that you're breathing, so you're getting more air when you're in the woods, too. <laughs> well, as it sounds, I find it to be true. We all have our opinions about things, but... Uh, that's one thing I, I myself find to be true. Uh, I love it down here, dude. It's peaceful. The only thing is... There's a truck going by on the road up there. See, they're, they're expanding the highway as if the highway wasn't big enough. Now, there's all these trucks and construction workers and shit. They cut down a whole bunch of trees that were down there. 
I'll show you. I'll show you before I leave. If, if I, well, no, because if I stop the video and I'm going to make another one, my computer doesn't do the MP4 editing very good. It'll edit the WMV, it'll edit AVI and everything, but this phone does MP4 video. So if I try and edit that and put two videos together, it's an old system. It runs, you know, I'm happy with it, I'm not going to complain about it, but everybody now has got the newest shit on the market. You know, I, I don't do that. I, I keep my stuff running. I like to fix things. I like to build things and appreciate what I have. I don't like to upgrade. Like, you know, like, I just try and appreciate what I have, you know, and that, in a sense, it, you know, makes you appreciate it more. If you fix things, like, you know, like my stereo, I had that stereo apart, like, over a hundred times. People were like, man, I want... Why do you keep this piece of shit? What do you see in the stereo? And they, they have no clue. You know, you can't buy a stereo like that anymore. You know, the, the boombox I always carry around. I'm sure you've seen it in videos before if you watch my channel, whatever. Well, you can't buy a stereo like that from the store now. The radios you buy in the store now are ugly and they sound like shit. And, you know, there's no LED lights on the front. There's no meters or anything like they had back in the day. The radios now are just cheesy. To me, they're cheesy and they're ugly and they sound bad. Plus, I don't know, I, I like that radio. A friend, a friend of mine gave me that. And he found it in the trash. He got mad and stepped on the back of it and broke the circuit boards and shit. And I was like, no, 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 dog, give it to me. Don't throw it away. I'll fix it. You know, as a matter of fact, I uploaded a video when I first fixed it. As I fixed the circuit board, I recorded a video so everybody could see. You know, it's just sentimental. You know, to everybody else, it's just an old beat-up radio. It don't matter. It don't mean nothing. But to me, it's sentimental. You know, it's everybody wants to upgrade. I'm not. I'm glad I'm not like everybody else. You can hear voices in the distance, but I always hear voices in the distance. Whether I'm sober, whether I'm high, I'm just crazy like that. You know. Just a nut, a crazy nut that's been in mental hospitals and fucking residential treatment facilities and de was in detention when I was young. Twelve years old, locked up in Carnell Abraxas for throwing a hammer at somebody. I mean, that uh, there was more, a lot of stuff I was doing. I was, well, was when I first started getting high. Threw a hammer and I tried to stab the principal with a knife. <laughs> I was not thinking clearly. I was doing stupid shit. Like, now I wouldn't bother doing that. You know, now I just tell the principal, go fuck yourself, dude. Go get a life. You know, I wouldn't bother trying to stab anybody now. I just say, dude, get the fuck out of here. You know, but back then I was different. I didn't care. I was reckless and just didn't think things through, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is, right? Just enjoy yourself. You can't let yourself... Uh, get into that depressive state of mind. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I, I notice this a lot of times. You, you know, a lot of times I fall into that into that rut where you just feel like, ah, fuck it, whatever, man. Like you just you just don't care. You know, you gotta laugh, even if you don't laugh at anything. Just just that, like, you know, you think back. You think back in your mind, your memories, whatever, and it helps you, really. Because everything, I noticed something in your mind, everything seems brighter in the past. You notice that? Like today. Today is today. I feel the way I do today. But a year from now, I look back at today, it's going to seem brighter. It's going to seem better than what it really was. You know what I mean? I don't know if that happens to you or not, but it, it seems to happen to me a lot. Uh, yeah, alright. I'm gonna hit the road. I'm probably boring you to death. I'm just giving you some advice, friendly advice. Take it or leave it, it's up to you. But, uh, I see you guys around. Peace.